Hello and welcome back to Jeff Quinton TV. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So I just want to give you an update as far as what's going on in the marketplace and an interesting um, scenario that happens quite often. And I'm always scratching my head, but uh, I want to share with you um, some of the mistakes that sellers are making um, when they get their first offer. Okay. So uh, the market right now is really good. I mean, the inventory is lower. We're selling out all the, the best of the best inventory right now. And uh, buyers are here, demand is up. So the good news is we're in a spring selling season. Again, this time of year, we typically sell more homes in these couple months than normal months. You know, February, March, April, May, typically we'll sell more homes those four months than the entire year, uh, the rest of the year combined. So um, interesting, uh, I just listed a property last, I guess it was uh, last weekend, Friday, whatever it was. Um, and virtually the very next day, we got an offer on it. I mean, it was on the, on the market literally one day. List price, 529. Uh, buyer came in with a $500,000 offer, cash, close in 30 days. And the terms of the agreement were perfect. There's the, you know, the terms itself, other than price, the, the, everything else along the way was great. Um, and the offer itself came in at 500 initially. So what do you think the reaction was of the seller? Well, you know, basically the seller was, you know, we've had it on the market only for one day. You know, let's go through the weekend. We've only seen it. We haven't had any other showings. There's no one else out there. And you know what? I, it's just way too low. We paid a big number for the property. Again, these people did pay a big number for it. They're taking a loss on it. Even though they've got equity, we've got all those rentals in the property right now and give them all this leases and all this rental income. And, uh, you know, the first offer um, that they've gotten is at 500000 They were feeling basically, you know, let me, let me, uh, think about it and, and we're going to wait on it and it's too low and you know what we just put it on the market so anyway i encouraged them and said listen to me just please listen to me in all of my experience of 24 years your first offer 99 percent time is your best offer your first offer 99 percent of the time that buyer is your best offer it's not where you start it's where you end up understanding that when an offer comes in at this kind of level it's 94 percent of list price the average uh, between probably list for and sells for in our market is just about 94%. So it doesn't, it doesn't surprise us that this is where the buyers came in. Well, ultimately I know this, that typically buyers will increase their offer, but we got to play the game. They might have to go around one or two rounds. Um, this seller was very stubborn, very, um, set that, you know, no, we're not countering back. That's it. I, I told him, I said, you got to counter back. You've got to, you've got to encourage them this. So they went home, talked about it next day, call back. No, we're not going to counter. I said, hey, you, you know what, you're gonna be, you, three things can happen. One, you can accept it. Thirdly, you can um, uh, say thanks but no thanks, but if you do that, you're never gonna, you're never gonna know what this buyer would have paid if you're not willing to get in the game. It's like they're in the, they're in the uh, parking lot, you know, doing a pregame, but they never actually entered the stadium. Um, but you gotta get in the game. So um, they didn't want a counter offer. And I encouraged, you've gotta give me a counter offer. You gotta, you gotta give me something to go back. Well, they wanted to come down like 500 bucks. I said, come on, 500 bucks isn't gonna do it. Um, so another day goes by. Now we're losing interest from the buyer. And finally they've come down and they, I just, they better, you know, squeeze them, uh, twist their arm, 527.5. Well, by then basically went back to the buyers. They got discouraged. Um, they said, you know, we decided to move on. We lost the buyer. So, um, I can tell you that your buyer, your first buyer is always your best. And I can tell you that, uh, that, you know, in this case, it could be another 30 days, 60 days, six months down the road that uh, we get another offer. And another offer is going to be at that number or less, or it's 60 days, 90 days down the road. And then the sellers decide, you know, we haven't been able to get anybody at 529. Let's go ahead and reduce it. Well, then they reduce it to 519. Next thing you know, they're reducing it again. So what I can tell you is this, when you price a property properly in the market, buyers that show up immediately are your best buyers. These are buyers that are educated. They've already been in the market. They've been looking maybe six months to a year. They've seen all the inventory. And just so that you enter the market right now, priced right, doesn't mean that you're giving it away or it's been on the market just for a couple of minutes or a couple of days. It's because the buyers have already been out there and see your property as the best value. So keep in mind, your first buyer is your best. And I would tell you and encourage you, always, always make a counter offer back not ever just say thanks but no thanks especially in the situation because you know ultimately um they could end up a whole lot less than what they started with in the beginning so anyway any questions thoughts on that or if you're thinking about getting your home on the market uh call us we can help you position it right to get offers and uh if you have any thoughts on this uh 
um, you know, block here. Again, reply back. Let us know what your, your thoughts are. Okay. As always, anything you need, give me a call. 609-398-5333. And as always, we look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Have a great one.